G'day trendsetters, welcome to segment number one of Ask the Gravel Cyclist Crew a Question. This question comes to us from Mike of Washington DC, but he tells me he used to live in Tampa, Florida. Okay, he says, uh, or he asks, considering building my wife a bike to use as an all-rounder, but mostly for gravel and hard pack trails. The bike will be used for occasional long distance Grand Fondo road events due to low gearing, so rolling resistance is somewhat of an issue, especially regarding tyres. The bike will also need to have hydraulic disc brakes. My wife is 5 foot tall, 3 inches, and weighs about 115 pounds. Question. Want to build bike with 650B wheels? What are the pros and cons of 650B wheels on such a bike for such a small but powerful rider? To my right, is the Linsky GR250 fit with 650B wheels and tires. The wheels are American Classic Wide Lightning, which is actually a mountain bike wheel set. And fitted to that uh, wheel set is a uh, pair of tires by Tareen the Elwood. Um, so it's actually a good question you have, Mike. So I do believe this wheel set, uh, the pros are, it's fantastic for a smaller rider, male or female. Um, you could uh, obviously do a 700C wheel set, but Sometimes uh, folks with smaller stature often need a smaller frame or a custom frame and that's where this wheel set would be perfect. Uh, the other things are you could really build a very lightweight wheel set if you decided to go custom. I'm not sure of all the different uh, rim options available right now for the 650B wheel size. So there's that to consider. Uh, the cons would be the tyre choices are still developing. Uh, 650B has been around for quite some time in mountain biking but in terms of gravel use we're still seeing uh, tyres being developed. I think that's going to keep in, uh, improving as more and more bike uh, manufacturers see that 650B is a viable uh, option for gravel. In terms of my experience, maybe it's placebo. Um, the wheels seem to accelerate just a little bit faster than 700C or 29 if you prefer. Um, but I have enjoyed my time on them so far. I, uh, the jury is still out there, to be honest with you, but I recommend uh, that you do think about this size wheel set for your wife. Thanks for the question, Mike. Uh, the next question comes from a bloke who goes by the name of GC Wannabe, and he tells me he's from Oz, that being Australia. Okay, the question is, how come K-Dog gets pummeled so badly on training rides, but wins all of those old dog races? Well, um, just from what I've seen with riding and racing with K-Dog, he also destroys me in races most of the times. He knows how to train smart, he uh, doesn't worry about how he does in a training ride and he pretty much uses his energy very wisely and he will milk the age card. So if you're in a breakaway with uh, our friend K-Dog and you see him sitting on the back, he might ask you, hey how old are you mate? If you're uh, in the 40 to 49 age group, he's not going to work with you, but he will not out sprint you. So just let him pull a turn once in a while and uh, he is really looking for a victory in the 60 plus category. So it's all about riding smart and training smart, okay? The next question comes to us from Rashad of Atlanta. And he writes, I see some of you and a number of other gravel riders and racers are moving towards the direction of using titanium frame sets for these events. I'm just entering the scene after years of riding the road exclusively, he adds, and I'm in the market for a new bike as a result. As someone that plans to hit up the occasional cyclocross race here or there, I like the versatility of bikes such as the Open UP and the 3T Exploro. Um, but my local shop has emphatically recommended Titanium as well, uh, in particular the uh, Lightspeed T5G that I reviewed here on GravelCyclist.com. So he's torn uh, whether to believe uh, what sort of damage can or does occur to bicycles during gravel rides. Can you please discuss some of the pros and cons of going with a titanium bike over carbon or aluminum or aluminium, if you prefer to say? So uh, let me see. Oh, he loves the site. That's fun. excellent, mate. Thank you. And it's what sparked my interest in riding gravel. Fantastic. So to answer your question about uh, damage to bikes, um, well, okay, without doubt, um, titanium is definitely a very resilient material uh, to impact damage. Uh, as is aluminium, it does quite well in that regard, but titanium also has some really good ride properties uh, that I really like myself. And most titanium frames, as you can see to the, uh, my right, 
there's no paint. So you don't have to worry about paint chips or paint scratches. You just clean the bike up once in a while. It looks uh, pretty fine and dandy. Well, I did race uh, last year, Dirty Kanza, on a Harley Chivago frame. The frame was uh, fantastic. I rode it for quite some time um, after the race as well and before. Uh, there was no damage to the frame from rock strikes, but it did take a lot of uh, rock hits. My, my advice, if you're going to run a carbon bike, uh, obviously the lightweight factor is a big thing to consider. You'll drop maybe a pound off the bike easily just in terms of the frame alone, but I recommend you look at protecting the frame. Um, I can't think of the top of my head. Uh, I did a review for uh, my friends at Bike Room about this product. It's basically like a clear mylar kind of um, adhesive that sticks to the underside of the down tube and along key points such as the chain stays and other rub points uh, for cables. That will go a long way to protecting your frame from big impacts. Um, so, and again, you know, if you try and, and ride and be careful, you know, what you're doing, I know you can't always pick your perfect line in racing, but generally if you keep your head about yourself, you're gonna do okay and not damage the frame too much. But again, think about some kind of protective um, measures for the frame and you should see many years of service out of a frame whether it's carbon titanium or aluminium <laughs>